everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this beautiful butterfly scrubbing cloth. This one I am showing you right now is actually uh, one I made earlier, and I will be showing you how to make the same exact one. Um, I'm just going to change up some colors here. This yarn that we're using today is called Red Heart Scrubby Cotton, and we are going to be using less than 100 yards of yarn for this. I'm using three different colors. This is 100% cotton yarn and it is a size 4 medium yarn. We are going to be using two strands of yarn at the same time. So uh, you can see the texture here and we are going to put two strands together at the same time and work with that as one. And this yarn is really fabulous. It is really scrubby. It's perfect for dishcloths, which is what we're making today, a uh, scrubby type of yarn. Um, you can use this for any, like, uh, either, even bath rags or things like that. And these balls of yarn come in 145 yard uh, skeins. And like I said, we're going to use less than 100 yards. Now, the three colors I'm using, you can see here this greenish color is called jade, this bluish color is called denim, and this purple color is called lavender. So if you want to get the same exact colors as me, I will put a link and a banner on my website where you can get this specific yarn right at redheart.com. So uh, thanks to them for providing the yarn today. The yarn or the hook we're going to use today is an eye hook, which is five and a half millimeters, and I just recently used the same hook uh, in the uh, mosaic baby quilt. So uh, you can see that there. This is a very handy hook. It is ergonomic, hand carved. You can get these at the Etsy shop, would be fancy. So make sure you check out the links in the description of this video and you can find the hooks like this and get your own. These are so wonderful. I absolutely love these hooks. Also, you're going to need a yarn needle and a scissors to cut yarn and sew pieces together and sew in some ends. So make sure you have these tools as well. So those are all the supplies we need. Now before we begin, like I said, check out those links in the description of this video. Uh, I have to say a huge thank you to my dad, Fouad much for taking the time to make this video with us. He's our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos here at Yarn Utopia, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all the places on social media, and hashtag Yarn Utopia when you finish your butterfly scrubbing cloth. All right, now let's just get started and make this cute little cloth. All right, to start out, we're going to make these top wings here. I'm just going to show you how to make one of them, and then I need you to make two of them because they're exactly the same. So I am going to set this aside, and I'm we're going to grab... Actually, I'm going to make my top wings on this next one in the jade color. And you'll need the two strands of yarn, so either you can work from both ends of your skein of yarn, or you can roll up a ball of yarn and um, make and use two balls of yarn. So it's totally up to you but I'm just going to use um, two, the both ends of the yarn on just the one skein. So you can see one is coming out of here and one is coming out of here. Okay, so I'm just going to use the one ball of yarn. Okay, so now to start out, let's make a slip knot. So we have two strands together. Let's pinch them together and make a slip knot by putting the short ends over the long ends, then fold that down and pull that long end through that loop and pull tight and then insert your hook. And for the top part of the wings, we are going to chain 10. So it is going to be a little difficult to see these stitches. So hopefully um, you can you can see them, but just make sure to chain 10, yarn over and pull through. There's one, yarn over and pull through. Here's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten. And then in the second chain from the hook, we are going to single crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count as a chain. So count one and two. This chain right here, if you're able to see it right there, we're going to go in there. Now what I do usually is turn my chain toward me. And if you can, there you can see there's back ridges here. So there's a back ridge right here. I'm going to go into there. So the second chain, one and two, this chain here, we're going to go into the back ridge, OK? 
okay so it's under two loops I know it's very difficult to see this but there's two loops there okay yarn over and pull through that okay now we have two loops on the hook here one and two yarn over and pull through both of those that's a single crochet next in the next chain here we are going to half double crochet so yarn over go into this next chain Okay, this back ridge right there yarn over and pull through yarn over and then pull through all three of the loops on your hook so one two three pull through all three of those loops okay that's a half double crochet now in the next five chains we are going to double crochet so yarn over go into the next chain then yarn over and pull through then yarn over and pull through you can see there's one two three pull through two loops here one and two and then we have two more loops on the hook yarn over and pull through those loops just like that that's a double crochet okay so that was one so we have to do five in a row so that was one so go into the next chain yarn over go into it then yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over and pull through two Okay, that's two. Next chain is three. Next chain, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's four. And the next one is five. Now, on this, it's very easy to kind of just feel around for your chains or your stitches to kind of find where they are because it is. Um, quite difficult to see the stitches with this type of yarn so just kind of feel around for it now we have two chains left two chains here we go <laughs> we have to half double crochet in the next one so yarn over go into this next one right here yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through all three loops and then the very last chain we are actually going to put three single crochets in there so go into that last chain yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two okay again go back into that same chain and make another two more single crochets so one and two so that chain has three single crochets in it now you can see I'm turning my work like this because we are actually going to work along this foundation here okay so hopefully you can see your stitches still this first stitch right here is not going to be worked in because these three single crochets are worked into it. Okay, so find where this half double crochet stitch is worked into, right into this stitch here. We are going to half double crochet into there. And if you want to, if it is easy for you, you can crochet over the top of this straggler, but I'm not going to for the video purposes so you can actually see where I'm putting my stitches. So yarn over go into the stitch that's your your half double crochet on the opposite side is worked into so go into that stitch right there then yarn over and pull through then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops just like that okay and you can kind of see that these three single crochets on this side kind of make a point there which is nice so now in the next five stitches we are going to double crochet so each stitch that has a double crochet in it we're going to double crochet so yarn over go into this next stitch yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through two loops there's one next stitch is two next stitch is if you have to just see where the stitch is and right at below it there you, you will see the stitch okay this is three next stitch right here is four and this next stitch is five so you should have two stitches left in the next stitch we are going to put a half double crochet so yarn over go into this half double crochet stitch right here and make a half double crochet oopsie yarn over go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through all three loops now in the very last stitch where the first single crochet is we're going to put two single crochets so go into there yarn over pull through 
yarn over pull through two and just put one more in there so there will be a total of three stitches in there then what we're going to do is slip stitch to the first single crochet which is right here so go into that stitch then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on your hook okay and kind of pull tight wow all right there was round number one now let's go on to round number two all right, going on to round number two, we are going to, let's see here, chain one and then turn the work around, okay? So I just yarned over and pulled through, then I'm going to turn my work this way, so now we're looking at the back of our work, and we are going to start by working in the middle single crochet of this grouping, which is right here. You can kind of see it by where we slip stitched and everything. It's right here and it's very difficult to see but we are going to put two single crochets into that stitch so it's in the it's the middle single crochet of this three single crochet grouping so go into it right there okay yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and one more time go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two. So there's two single crochets in that first stitch. Then we are going to treble crochet into the next stitch. This makes our uh, bobble stitches, like our, our thicker stitches. I know you can see it in this butterfly here. These kind of bobbly stitches, these are treble crochets. So that's kind of what we're creating right now for this top wing. So let's make a treble crochet. So yarn over twice. Okay, one, two, go into the very next stitch right here, then yarn over and pull through. Okay, so now we have four loops on the hook, one, two, three, and four. Yarn over and pull through two of those loops. Okay, so now we have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two more of those loops. So now we'll have two loops on the hook. So then yarn over and pull through those last two loops. Okay, that's a treble crochet. Now in the very next stitch, we are going to single crochet. So go right into the next stitch and you can see that we are making a shorter stitch. So this really pops out that treble crochet. Okay, so go into that next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just like that. So we've made that treble crochet kind of fold in half and that really makes it pop. And that's a good uh, thing for scrubbing, scrubby yarn, you know, it makes a little ridge, helps with the scrubbing of the dishes and everything. <laughs> so next stitch, we're going to just um, alternate those two stitches until we get to this end here. So let's treble crochet in the next stitch. So yarn over twice, go into here, yarn over, pull through yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over pull through two more loops and then yarn over and pull through those other two loops okay just like that and then let's get our yarn situated here single crochet into the next stitch so just go in yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay so we're going to repeat that sequence five times so that uh, treble crochet single crochet so that's one treble crochet single crochet that's two treble crochet in the next stitch one and then single crochet in the next stitch okay that's our third repeat then treble crochet in the next stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. That's our fourth repeat. So we have to do that one more time. Treble crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and again, you'll really have to just feel around for it. Okay, and then single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, and then the next stitch after that should be your middle single crochet of your three single crochet grouping. So in that stitch, we are going to put two single crochets. So go in 
and make two single crochets in that point. One and two. Perfect. Now we can treble crochet into the next stitch. So yarn over twice, treble crochet in the next stitch. There we go. I had to feel around for that one. There it is. Okay. And it's nice with scrubby yarn that if you do make a mistake or put your stitch somewhere kind of weird, nobody's even going to notice. <laughs> and then single crochet in the next stitch right here. Oops, there it is. Okay, and we're going to do that repeat on this side only four times. So treble crochet, single crochet, then treble crochet in the next stitch, and then single crochet in the stitch after that. Okay, that's our second repeat on this side. Okay, treble crochet in the next stitch. Whoopsie. I'll start that one over. There we go. And then single crochet in the next. Okay. That's my second repeat, or sorry, third repeat. And treble crochet in the next stitch. <laughs> and then single crochet in the next stitch. All right, so we did that four times there. Now what we're going to have to do is treble crochet in the next stitch. And if you have one more stitch left, you can single crochet in it. But if you don't have a stitch left, you can just simply slip stitch to the first um, stitch. It looks like I have a stitch here. So I'm just going to put a single crochet after that, just like that. And then we're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Okay, now we're going to turn our work around to see the what the treble crochet stitches. It looks so fabulous. Kind of stretch this out to see it. Those stitches are really popping. They look really cool. But we just want to do one more round, so let's go on to make round three. All right, so for round three, we are going to turn our work to look at the side that has the treble crochets um, popping out. Okay, so this side here. And we are going to chain up three. So yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And that counts as a double crochet. Then we are going to put a double crochet in this very next stitch right here. Okay, so you can kind of see there's a stitch right here where that chain up three comes out of. We are going to put a stitch in this next one here. So yarn over, go into this single crochet right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we are going to, until we're going to go across here until we get to this point here, and we are going to put two tre or I'm sorry, two double crochets into each treble crochet and one double crochet in each single crochet. So in this treble crochet stitch right here, we are going to put two double crochets. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, yarn over, go back into that treble crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Now in this single crochet stitch right here, we are going to put a double crochet, just one. And we're going to alternate those then all the way till we get to this side, this um, point here. So put two double crochets in the treble crochets and one double crochet in each single crochet. And then I'll meet you up when I get to uh, this next point right here. All right, I'm putting two double crochets in this um, treble crochet right here, and I'm at this next point. So we are going to, if you can see, there's two single crochets in this stitch, but there's one single crochet in this next stitch. So in the, each of these next two stitches, we are going to put two double crochets in each one of those. So yarn over, put two double crochets in this next stitch here, one and two 
and in the next stitch. So each stitch of the point gets two double crochets each. Okay, then there should be one stitch, one single crochet after the point right there. We're just going to put one double crochet in there. Okay, and then we're going to continue with our established pattern by putting two double crochets in each of the treble crochets and one double crochet in each of the single crochets. And I'll do that until the end of this round. All right, so I just put two double crochets in this last treble crochet stitch here. So I have two stitches left. We're going to put one double crochet in this next stitch and then we're going to put two double crochets in the last stitch and then we are going to still put one double crochet in the first stitch where our chain up three is right here. So go into there and make a double crochet. I am ended up with, I have ended up with 39 stitches on this round. If you end up with 40, that's all good. We are going to slip stitch to this chain up three right here. Just go into it, then yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can fasten this wing off. So let's chain one, and then cut the yarn. You can cut the yarn a little bit longer if you want to use it for sewing. So I'm just going to cut it just a little bit longer. There we go. And then pull it all the way through that chain one, and then kind of pull it tight to secure it. Okay, and now if you want to stretch this out a little bit, the cotton is quite stretchy, as you can see. So there is one wing. Now if you need to sew in this end that's in the beginning here, you can sew in your ends by yarning your needle and then going underneath the stitches from round one here down the base of the stitches. Okay, and then just pull it all the way through, stretch it out and then cut any extra. Be careful with your scissors. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so there's one, the top wing of one of the wings. You can make two of these. So once you have two of these finished, if you need to rewind this and make two of these, once you have two of the top of the wings done, we can go on to making the two bottom parts of the wings. For the bottom parts of the wings, I am going to use the denim color, and again, we're using two strands at the same time, just like we did for the top part of the wings, and we are going to start off with a slip knot, so I showed you how to do that with the earlier piece, with the top part of the wings, so make one of those, and then insert your hook, and tighten this up here, there we go, and now let's go on to making the bottom part of the wing. So let's start off by chaining two, yarn over, pull through, one and two. And we're basically making two circles here. So let's uh, single crochet six times in the second chain from the hook. So count one and two. This first chain here, you wanna go into it right there, yarn over and pull through just like that, and then yarn over and pull through two loops, okay? And we're going to do that six times in that same stitch there, so that's one, so go back into that chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. That's two, here's three, and four. It's going to be really hard to see here. Here's five and six. Okay, then what we're going to do is slip stitch to the first single crochet. So if you need to count back, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now this slip stitch is going to be kind of loose. It is going to count as a seventh stitch. Now if you want to make seven single crochets in there, you can, and then slip stitch to this first stitch, and you'll have seven stitches in total. We need seven stitches. So yarn over and pull through, and then pull through the loop on your hook, but you don't have to pull too tight, because like I said, we're going to work into that in 
uh, this next round. So that was round number one. So if you need to count back, you should have six single crochets and then that slip stitch there. So now for round two, we are going to chain up three. So yarn over and pull through one, two, and three. And that's going to count as part of our first stitch. We are going to make my all-time favorite popcorn stitches in this next round. So a beginning popcorn stitch, we are going to put three double crochets in that first stitch where that chain up three is in. So yarn over, go into the very first stitch that we just slip stitched into. So go into there, then yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, there's one, yarn over, go back in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two and three. So it actually looks like there's four stitches in this first stitch because this chain of three counts as one. So one, two, three, four. What we're going to do is remove the hook from this loop. So kind of pull it up. If you want to stick your finger in it, you can to kind of hold it. Let's go into this chain up three, right into there, okay? And then put that loop back on your hook and pull it through. You can kind of pull it tight. There we go. And then pull it through that stitch, okay? That kind of folds everything in half. You can pull it tight. So it folds that in half and makes a nice popcorn stitch, which is great for the scrubby because it's going to give it some dimension and it'll be nice for scrubbing things. Now after you make your first popcorn stitch, let's chain two. So yarn over and pull through one and two. And we're going to put a regular popcorn stitch in the very next stitch. So kind of spread this out, scoot this over, and you can see the next stitch is right here. So we are going to put four double crochets into the next stitch. So yarn over and go into this next stitch here, make four double crochets in there. So you know how to make a double crochet by now. We did a lot of them in that first part of the wing. So one, here's two, three, and four. And then we're going to remove the hook from that loop, okay? Go in the first double crochet of this grouping here, one, two, three, four. This first one here, actually this is one, two, three, four, so this is the first one. Going into that first one there, putting the loop back on the hook, okay, pulling that tight, and then bringing it through that stitch, okay? You can see that kind of folded that in half and you can see that it made the popcorn. Fabulous! So now let's chain two, one and two, and just repeat that all the way around. So in the next stitch make a popcorn stitch, then chain two, and then popcorn in the next. At the end of this round we are going to have seven popcorn stitches because I am going to work my last popcorn stitch in that slip stitch that we made from the previous round when we were attaching and closing that last round. So I'm going to do that all the way around and just make sure you have seven popcorn stitches at the end of this round and then I will meet you up and we'll go on to round three. All right, I made my last popcorn here in that slip stitch from the previous round. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's chain two and then slip stitch to the first popcorn stitch right in here. You can see um, I'm going to actually slip stitch into my first chain of this chain two space, which is right here. I'm just going to go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Then what we're going to do is for round three, slip stitch into this chain two space, okay, and then chain up three, one, two, and three. And that's going to count as our first stitch of this round. And for this round here, in this first space, we're going to put three double crochet. So yarn over, go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's one, here's two, 
and three. And it actually looks like there's four double crochets in there because this chain of three counts as a stitch. Now in each chain two space around, we are going to put four double crochets. So just hop into this next chain two space between these popcorn stitches and put four double crochets in there. So one, here's two, three, and four. And then just hop to the next chain two space and put four double crochets in there. So I'm going to do that and then I'll meet you up uh, when we fasten this part off. All right, you should have 28 stitches on that round. So now we are going to fasten off. Let's slip stitch to the first chain up three here. Right at the top there. Just go in. There we go. Yarn over and pull through and pull through. All right. Now, if you want to, you can chain up one to fasten off. I'm going to cut my yarn a little bit longer again for sewing. And then we're going to pull that all the way through and pull it tight. And there's that little straggler in the back there. I am going to use uh, my yarn needle and I'm going to sew that in to hide that and uh, cut that shorter. And then what I need you to do is just rewind this part and make one more of these. This is the bottom of the wing. So just sewing in this end here and then I'm gonna cut it. Okay, careful with those scissors. There we go. Just like that. So yeah, just make one more of these um, for the bottom. Here is my other one. Just make them exactly the same. And then once you have these two done and these two done, you can kind of lay it out and see that it is going to start to take shape pretty soon. All we have to do is make our body next. All right, for the body of this butterfly that I'm making, I am going to use the lavender color. And again, two strands at the same time. And what I'm going to do is start off with a slip knot. So put that short end over the long end, then fold this down and pull that through and pull tight. Insert the hook. And for the body, let's see here, we are going to chain 16. So I won't make you watch me chain. So just yarn over and pull through one, two, three. Okay, so don't, um, you don't have to watch me do this, but um, you can chain 16 and then I'll meet you up for the first row here. All right, so I chained 16. So this is what your piece should look like here. So now let's go on to the next step. It says to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count. So count one and two, the second chain here. Again, I'm gonna turn my work toward me and I'm gonna work in these back ridges of this work. I know it's very difficult to see them, but bear with me here. We're gonna go in the second chain from the hook and single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Then in the next chain, we are going to half double crochet. So yarn over, go in, then yarn over and pull through, then yarn over and pull through all three of the loops. Now we're going to double crochet in the next five stitches. So yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two loops. So there's one, yarn over, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's two, here's three, and four, and five. Then we're going to single crochet into the next chain. So just go into the next chain here, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's going to be the bottom half of our body here. So now we're going to make the top half of our body. Let's double crochet in the next five chains. So one, yarn over, go into the next here is two, whoopsie, 
Oh my goodness, I slipped. <laughs> okay, do this over here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you should have two chains left over. Okay, so we are going to half double crochet in the next chain. So yarn over, go into this next chain here. If you're able to. And if you can find it, there it is. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops for a half double crochet. And in the last chain, we're going to single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two. Okay. Now we are going to, so that's the body. Now, if you don't want to have a loop at the top, I'm going to make a loop, but if you don't want to have a loop, you can just fasten off here and then sew in all your ends. But I am going to make a loop. So I'm going to chain four, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, three, and four. And then I'm going to come to the end of this side here. So I'm going to come back down to the end or the bottom half of this single crochet right here and then yarn over and pull through and pull through the loop on the hook that's a slip stitch there now what i'm going to do is turn my work around okay and i'm going to work into this loop and i'm going to first chain up one so yarn over pull through okay and in this loop i am going to put five single crochets so go in yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two so there's one two, three, four, and five. Then we're gonna come down to here, wherever really, and slip stitch, yarn over, pull through, and through. Okay, and then we're going to cut this. So chain one, fasten this off. So cut that, pull it all the way through, and pull it tight. Okay, we have a, two strands to sew in and we have this like kind of gap right here so I need to sew that closed. So what I'm going to do is take this yarn here with my yarn needle. I am going to crochet or sew that closed here by going through a couple of stitches on this side. Okay, and sewing it closed. So you can see that I just did that. And I'm going to go through some of the stitches and just weave in this end. Okay, and then I'm going to weave in the ends of this other straggler right here. Okay, and for the body, you obviously just need to make one of these, so you don't have to rewind this and make another one of these. Unless you're making more than one scrubby, then that's fantastic. You can make a whole set of different colored butterflies. That'd be great. That'd be so fabulous. So that's totally up to you. Now, I'm just sewing in this end, and then I'm just going to cut the extra here. Careful with those scissors. Again, for like the third time. There we go, stretch this all out. Awesome. Okay, so this is the body. So now grab all your pieces that you have, the two bottom parts of the wing and the two top parts of the wing and kind of just lay this out to see how you want this positioned. Okay, you can see I'm putting my long stragglers toward the center near to where the body is. Let's see. There we go. And then lay your body down and put this underneath there. And then we're going to kind of overlap these bottom wings over the top of these top wings. Okay. And kind of squeeze everything into place. So that's kind of how it's going to look here. So now we have to just sew this all together. So I'm going to sew all of these together with this color, the lavender color. Okay, even though we did cut strands for sewing for these other pieces, but I'll show you why is because if we sewed this together with this denim color, you would see the denim over the lavender color and that would just kind of look terrible. So we're going to sew on the body to these pieces with the lavender color. And it's going to be quite easy, actually. 
All right, so I'm gonna put, put these pieces aside and we're just gonna start with one piece. Kind of just line it up where you want it. Okay. And it's gonna be about right here. Okay. And we are going to go from the back of our work, okay, through the back side out to the front. Okay. And I'm just going back and forth, very similar to how people, you know, how you um, sew on motifs and everything. We're just sewing this on back and forth, okay, going in and then out. Okay. And you can take your time with this. I'm kind of going a little faster for the camera, but uh, just make sure that you, you know, do it all right. Obviously, this gets, this yarn gets very, um, it's very stuck. <laughs> it gets very stuck with the work, but that's okay. It, it's very, it like sticks to itself, kind of, because of the texture it has. Okay, so we're just going in and out. Okay, and then once you have one piece on, this first piece, I'm going to end on the inside. Okay, so I'm going to end kind of going in to the inside here, meaning the back side. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to grab the other side. So I'm going to put this wing opposite to it. So right here. And I'm going to kind of turn this over just to see where my yarn is at. Okay, so it's right here is where I'm working from. So I'm going to go over to the other side. Okay, and I'm going to position this where it needs to be. And we're just going to go into the edge there. Okay, so we don't have to cut our yarn yet. We're going to sew both of these on with the same strand of yarn. Okay, and kind of just flip it back and forth. Make sure that your piece is uh, lined and you're happy with the result. And we're just going back and forth here. Okay, and then I'll show you how to fasten this part off. And then I'll leave you to do the top wings on your own because it's exactly the same. So I'll show you how to do that. Just sew this in to the bottom. Awesome. Now, we want to lay this out, make sure everything looks decent. If you are, you know, unsatisfied, just continue sewing till you are. Like this piece, this stitch right here should go on to this side. Okay, and then when you're happy with how it looks, we're going to go back up to where, oh, we're right there. We started back to where we started, which is right here. So we can cut this yarn short, all the strands. Okay, and then tie these two in a knot in the back here. Okay, so I'm just crisscrossing them, looping it around, and then pulling. Okay, then what we're going to do, also a little easy tip, is to tie these two strands of denim together as well. In the center back. Okay, that's just creator's choice if you want to do that. Okay, just like that. And then later on, we are going to sew this top part and this top part to our top wings. So we are going to now flip this over. Now don't, you don't have to sew in this end, these ends yet. And these long strands we are going to keep um, for also sewing actually. So leave this all like this. You can flip this over here. And now we just need to add the top parts of the wings. So again, make sure your long strands are closer here. Make sure your bottom part of your wings overlap the top wings and position them how you want them to look. Okay, going like this. And then in the back here, like this. Okay, and then 
same exact concept. We are sewing these ones on with the lavender color, uh, just like how we sewed on the denim pieces. So I am going to do that. And then I'll come back and show you how to attach this part and this part to those top wings. All right, I just sewed these uh, two uh, wing parts on and I'm just tying this in a knot back here. And I tied these two in a knot, um, two from this wing and two from this wing. I just tied these in a knot just like I did the denim ones down here. So now everything's all tied, everything's all on, except when you flip this over, these wings are detached from these wings. So what I'm going to do is sew together these wings to these wings and these wings to these wings. So I'm going to take these yarns from these top wings because they're right in the center here. Whichever ones are closer, it doesn't matter which color you use really. Actually it does, sorry. <laughs> we have to use the denim because whichever ones are on tops. So we're going to use the ones that are on top. So if you want these bottom wings on the top, you can. Or you can have these ones on top, but usually I mean, that looks good too, but I'm going to actually put these bottom wings on top like this, okay? So that's creator's choice. You can put these wings on top like this and then sew on using the top wing color or you can put these ones on top overlapping and then use these this color. So I'm going to put these ones on top, so I'm going to use the denim. Sorry if that was confusing, <laughs> but I am going to use these two strands right here and what I'm going to do is yarn my needle okay and we're going to just go back and forth through this until we get to the top part here okay I'm just going to show you one and then we'll you can go on to doing the other ones so now we're going to kind of overlap them look at make sure that it looks good okay so I want to overlap it right there so we're going to kind of squeeze it with one hand and then go in and out with the yarn. Okay, go in and then go back through and then go back through and then back through. Okay, then we want to come back to the center. So we are going to slide this through, through to the center because we are going to tie that in another knot later. So now you can flip this over, make sure that looks good. And yep, it looks good and it's attached. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And then when they are back to the center, because I brought this one back to the center here, I am going to bring this one up and sew this one on and then come back to the center. And then I'm going to tie them in a knot and I'll meet you up at that point. All right, I'm just sewing this back here and then we want to tie these in a knot. Off camera I did sew in um, my ends so make sure that you're sewing in your ends that you are not using and tie this in a knot when you come back to the center just like that and then grab your yarn needle and sew in again. Sew in all your ends and then we're finished. This beautiful butterfly scrubby cloth is done. You can use this uh, for doing some dishes in style. You can do it, you can use it for bath time. You can use it for, um, you know, just an exfoliation um, in the shower, some type of whatever, whatever type of dishcloth or rag you want to use it for. There it is, how lovely. Stretch it out, make sure it looks good, and it does. You can make a whole set of these, make a bunch of different colored ones, and just like this, and make a whole set for someone who loves butterflies. There they are. Thank you so much for watching, and big thank you to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn today. Thanks to my dad for filming this and doing the photography for this, and thank you for watching all the time. Happy hooking!